Blessed Be. Today is August 4th, and it's Assistance Dog Day, a holiday for our canine friends to bring awareness to the puppies who have been able to be trained and partner up with various people with various disabilities and really provide a service that helps people with various challenges just cope better in the world. And I, I love the partnership, the idea of this partnership that can really get developed from this and how we can work together in a beneficial manner to make things easier for one another. It made me kind of wonder, you know, how did this idea really start to formulate for training animals specifically to assist people, you know, with disabilities? You know, who was, who stumbled on this at home and started to create this idea that, you know, we could train more dogs. This helped me, you know, was it that kind of story? Could be another good TV series. Today at work, one of the things I evaluated early on was my process for doing my project work. And I noticed where I usually have a regular cadence for you know, doing this first, doing that next, I switched it today. Usually, I like to clean up my backgrounds first. I make a copy of the received file, I change the name, then I like to go in, open it up and clean it and turn it into a usable background for what I need. But for some reason today, I went in and set up my working file first. I wonder though, in the long run, is there any difference with efficiency? Uh, I do do them separate because when I have to set up my working file, I want to make sure I've got access to the other software so I can get the job name, job number, address, things like that, you know, all in one step, copy paste what, as needed. But then, you know, draw and clean up doesn't require utilizing the other softwares and making those kind of data connections. So I treat the two activities separately and I usually do them. I do each activity in multiple jobs at a time, as opposed to working one job all the way through, which is the other thing I've been bouncing back and forth on. Is it worth, you know, worth running the job all the way through or cleaning up all the backgrounds at once? and then setting up all the files at once, and then importing all the tables at once. Because um, when you're in a bit of that flow, you know, for, for the process, it can really, you know, jump forward, you know, by just doing the same repeat steps as opposed to just staying on the same file. Now you could just have four files open and kind of work through this or open close kind of spend the energy to shift around I don't know I keep messing around with it finding different ways to piece it together and I just kind of enjoy looking back at it and trying to evaluate you know was did I get any better results or anything like that so just kind of farted around with just little silly things like that. I did take some time to do some administrative work today. Uh, outside my usual realm of review, I attended a monthly review and some questions were facilitated to look back at this last month. And I enjoyed that experience. I love a good look back at what happened. And I don't do it enough. I do a slight weekly review, but that's getting kind of, I, 
I feel like I'm going through them quicker now and not as intentional. So this kind of review for the month really helped me refocus my belief to the benefit I receive from a better review. And looking back at the whole month, how did it go? It makes me want to plan more for August. You know, it's still at the beginning. And what do I need to do to accomplish some, you know, the big long-term goals? You know, is there something for my career, you know, that I need to develop in myself? And if I'm taking a class or a course, well, then I need to get registered and again, reverse engineer and make sure I'm taking the steps and not just ignoring it. Because it's very easy to brush certain ideas and scheduling time for things under the rug. But personal professional development are things we should be prioritizing and I'm ready to get back into making sure that's on my schedule. Because looking back over the last month, I realized how much on autopilot I had been. Now granted, I just moved. It's been a crazy month. So I give myself those graces, but I am ready to design the future I want for myself. So I will set that vivid vision for the future reverse engineer it to see what I need to do, and then schedule some events. If you'd like to hear more entries into the CAD Witches Grimoire, don't forget to hit subscribe. And until next time, Merry Meet, Merry Part, and Merry Meet Again.